Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Uh, Sheikh, is watching football permissible? I'm not an addict, uh, but I watch it occasionally. And I love you for the sake of Allah, and may Allah Azza wa love you as you love me in the sake of Allah. Uh, watching football, we went through this question before, and we said that, if you recall, of course, I'm talking about watching football, meaning gents watching uh, 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 men playing football, not the other way around. So it's definitely not permissible for women to watch men playing football due to their uh, uh, outfit. And it's definitely not allowed for men to watch women playing anything at all, so whether football or volleyball or anything. Now, for men watching men playing football, it's an issue of dispute because the scholars disputed on the uh, area of the thighs. Is it considered to be awrah to look at or not? And there are different hadiths supporting those who say it's not awrah. And there are hadiths stating and clearly saying that you should not look at it and you should cover it because it's awrah. So it's an issue, issue of dispute. And I personally... Uh, believe that because of this dispute we cannot say clearly it is forbidden to watch now I'm talking about watching the aura itself the hadiths of the Prophet state that you should cover it and you should not lo not look at it however there are hadiths that he himself والسلام, would sometimes uh, uh, sit with his companions and show parts of his his, his thigh uh, as in the hadith of I think Abu Sa'id al-Khudri where he was sitting uh, at a well, and next to him was Abu Bakr, then Umar. Then, then when Ali came, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he covered his thigh. And when they told him, why didn't you, did you do this while you did not do it with Abu Bakr and Umar, he said, wouldn't I be bashful from a man who the angels are bashful from? So uh, uh, they say that, well, if the Prophet did this, Alaihi then this indicates that it is permissible. Others say, no, this is something that is special to him, while his own rhetoric goes against it. So we have to follow his rhetoric, not his actions, when there is a contradiction between them. So both ways, it's an issue of dispute. Uh, if we hypothetically claim that it's okay to watch men wearing shorts, now, um, what would you watch? If you... Who, as you claim uh, not to be an addict to watching it, so you are not hooked on watching football and following uh, the Modest League or uh, uh, whatever uh, leagues they have in Brazil or in Italy or in whatever. If you're not addicted to that, in this case, it is occasionally okay to watch uh, a match here and there. But... What we see from people, they start easy and then they become serious and they devote a lot of time. And what would a person gain from watching a football match? I'd rather you go put on your shoes, your trainers and play football yourself. You burn calories, you lose some weight, you get more stamina. And you enjoy yourself rather than sitting for an hour and a half or how long, I don't know, it takes just watching 20 uh, people running behind a leather ball full of hot air. Buy a ball for each one of them and خلاص, get it over with instead of them fighting over one single ball. So I believe that this is time consuming and it's not worthy of uh, a, a Muslim to waste his time especially if he's watching non-Muslims, uh, uh, disbelievers playing. And we in Saudi Arabia, people are so hooked on football that you may sometimes hear men shouting at a, a, a Christian, may Allah grant your religion victory. This is an, an, an Arabic word that we say to a person when we approve of what he's doing. We say, dinak. may Allah grant victory to your religion. So you may hear people when uh, uh, Ronaldinho, for example, scores a, a goal, he would say this to him. And this is, if you contemplate, this is a word of kufr. But people say it because they are not 
paying any attention. Nobody wants the Christian uh, or, or the Jew or the non-Muslims that Allah would give them or grant them victory at all, knowing that they are false religions. And Allah knows best.